Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to create an AWS EC2 instance with Python. To begin with, just make sure that you have Python pip and uh, Python Porto 3 library that would make it easy for us to use AWS resources with the Python. If you have not installed Python, go to google.com and type in download Python and you can download the Python from python.org. Make sure to install the latest version of Python. And with Python, you would get the pip. Pip is used to install other packages and modules within Python. So if you have installed the Python, make sure to check the version that I have Python 3.704. And also you would have to check the version of pip or you have installed pip i have pip installed with python and then you would have to install i think you can install boto 3 using this it's already installed so if you would not have this installed already you would have to mention pip install boto 3 and that's how you install python pip and boto 3 to work and automate the AWS EC2 creation with Python. Also, we will have to have AWS CLI installed. So, you can mention pip install AWS CLI and 3 like this. And it will install both of them. It will install AWS CLI and it will install Boto 3 as well. And also make sure that uh, under IAM in the AWS console, you would have a user created. I have this user created, or I can use my own account as well. Administrative access have given to this user. These are the security credentials. You can download the security credentials as well. Like I have given the administrative access. If you don't want to give the admin access, you can create a user and assign it a policy to allow full control over ec2 so you would have a policy mentioning ec2 full access you can do that or i can show you user add permissions at existing policies directly search it over here amazon ec amazon ec2 full access just click on it review it and then you can add permissions and we'll add this permission to the user okay after that make sure you have set up these things properly type in aws configure on the command prompt you would see that uh, if you have, if you would not have set it it would open up the default profile and if you have set it it will show you the access key the secret access key the default region name and the default output you can change them you can have the access key id and the secret access key id from the console and then you can configure it like here and if you're not configuring leave, leave them as blank and it will be defined this way and also make sure that you have PyCharm installed it's an IDE for Python playing with this have it, the PyCharm installed you can install it from Google and after doing this let me make another file uh, ec2 dot 3y okay now what it will do is it will import the boto 3 library that you have installed then it will define a, a variable ec2 dot equal to boto 3 dot resource ec2 it, it is importing the boto 3 dot resource function from the library this will create a new instance now instance equal to ec2 dot create underscore instance image id you can go on to the amazon console and then from the ami you can select your image id or mention here here's the maximum count the minimum count size of the key name key pair would be ashish test so that you can connect it after that and if you would so i have not see i have not placed any location i have not placed anything else so how would it create an instance remember we ran the aws configure command where it showed me 
showed me the default region, secret access key, the access key ID, and the default format. So it will keep it under US West 1 or I think Northern Virginia or Oregon. So if I run the script, no P file, let me check it. So we are back with this uh, code, Python code. So what you'll do is you can pick this code and if you would see here, I will explain this uh, Python program later in the next video, but I'm going to show you how this will create the uh, the EC2 instance in the region that we specified in the AWS configure a uh, few minutes back. So I'm going to call import the module logging. I'm going to import the module Boto3. I'm going to make the exception class here from Boto code exceptions package import the client error package and in which in this I am provisioning and launching an EC2 instance. The method returns without waiting for the instance to reach a running state. So I'm going to defining a function which is define create EC2 instance. I'm going to pass the values of image ID, instance type, and the key pair name. So if you would come here, it says uh, provision and launch the EC2 instance, EC2 underscore client. Then it is calling a boto 3 dot client function and passing the value as EC2. I'm going to mention these are the response I'm trying to find. This is basically calling this method of the EC2 client, Boto3 client method for this class. And uh, response it would, I'm going to try and the, try and accept to caught any error. Here I'm defining the main function to create. And these are the variables I need to supply. So if I go to the AWS console, here I'm going to select a Linux AMI pasted in the code here. Let's say I'm going to select it. T2.micro, I'm going to select the Tigro and keep your name would be Tingashish. Here it is. I'm going to save this file. So save this on a location up AWS EC2 dot py extension closer here it comes. I'm gonna open up the command prompt. I'm gonna go to my desktop. I want to Python and call that file. Let's see how it goes. Okay, let me check. I have a zero running instance. Okay, I'm going to change the name of any of my file S. Let's see, it's expecting this AMI dash. Let to me AMI dash. Let me see if this works in double quotes. Here it is. Let me change it for all of them. Here it is. Control S. Again, see the AMI does not exist. Six six E. Let me Google it. I checked for the error message in the error code section. It says that the check the AMI ID, AMI ID and ensure that you specify the region. So I went back to the console and I checked my AWS configure. It says that I am in US East 1. I've specified my default region as US East 1. So I changed it from Oregon to Northern Virginia and I am going to copy. I'm going to open up the notepad plus plus again I'm gonna mention here and save it go on to my command prompt exit out of it and run it again let's see okay so it says when calling the run instance the key pair ashish test dot temp does not exist so the reason it is does not exist 
because if you go here and if I go here, come on, let me see if I go key pairs. Oh, I have one key pair. So I'm going to import a key pair, browse, go on to my downloads, Ashish test, import. I'm going to create a new key format. I'm going to save this file. Come here, copy it, go on to my Notepad plus plus. I'm going to change the name from EC2 Automate dot pem control S. Come here and yes, it will does not exist. Are you kidding me? Let's do it one more time. So I'm going to fix this error next time. So you get the idea of few multiple times. I'm going to dig into it. I'm going to show you and explain you line by line of the Python code. I'm going to make videos on uh, automating the cloud with Python for Azure and for AWS as well. So stay tuned for the next video like I am. I'm going to dig through it and come back. Thank you.